A former Erie police officer faces at least three years behind bars for causing a fatal car crash. It's continuing coverage tonight at 6. Jackie Roberts was at Cheryl Fry's sentencing today and has much more in the newsroom. Jackie? Sean, Cheryl Fry was emotional in the courtroom today, telling the judge she apologizes for the pain that she's caused, but the prosecution says she still doesn't grasp the magnitude of the situation. 48-year-old Cheryl Fry being taken into custody for the first time, more than a year and a half after causing the three-car collision that killed 57-year-old Wade Schultze. After seven postponed sentencings and one withdrawn guilty plea, a jury found Fry guilty on all charges, including homicide by DUI. Wednesday, the judge sentenced her to three to six years in state prison, followed by three years probation. The defense saying it's a fair sentence, adding that Fry had no malice or intent. She had secured a designated driver throughout the night, and but for a uh, altercation with the designated driver minutes before this accident occurred, she would never have been driving. But prosecutors tell us Fry consistently showed a lack of remorse. The assistant district attorney says her first attempt at an apology was in court for sentencing. The, the word I use and the word I'll still use is that she was indifferent to what happened to the victim's family, and her her goal throughout this entire process was taking care of Cheryl Fry, and uh, I'm glad that she was not able to do that and that the system worked in the way it's supposed to and that she was held responsible. The victim's family also commented on the defendant's failure to take responsibility. Schultz's daughter reading in court, quote, she was supposed to be a leading example of upholding the law. The crash happened on Route 99 in McCain Township in February of 2017. Fry was nearly three times over the legal limit at 0.232%, but her attorney says she hasn't had a drop of alcohol since the accident. John? Jackie Roberts in the newsroom tonight.